Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel, where I'm always breaking down the hot sports topics of the day. My name is Mike. Be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube to get all of my videos delivered directly to you. I'm continuing my daily college basketball previews and predictions with the game between the Penn State Nittany Lions and the Indiana Hoosiers. This game will be played at Indiana's Assembly Hall. It'll be a 7 p.m. start time on the Big Ten Network. Indiana comes in with a... 4 and 1 Big 10 record 16 and 2 overall Penn State 0 and 6 in the Big 10 8 and 10 overall on the season. First of all Penn State, you know Penn State comes into this game um, having lost their last 6 games, all Big 10 games. They did have their best game of the season in their la uh, sorry, of the Big 10 schedule in their last game versus Nebraska which they now narrow narrowly lost 68 to 64. Uh, this team was sort of doomed from the get-go when they lost uh, their best player, their preseason All-Big Ten player, uh, Tim Frazier, to an injury at the beginning of the season. Although there has been a couple Nittany Lion players that have picked up the slack from a scoring perspective, uh, the depth that this team could not afford to lose in losing Frazier and losing their best player uh, is re really rearing its ugly head as, as this season plays out. Uh, this is a team that has trouble scoring points. This is a team that has trouble defending and also turns the ball over. So when you combine all those three aspects, you have a team that's losing by an average of 13 points in their Big Ten schedule so far. Uh, you have a team uh, that is winless in the Big Ten, and you have a team that was picked second to last when they had Frazier in the lineup in the preseason and now is really suffering without him. Um, look for uh, Indiana, on the other hand. Indiana comes into this game, obviously ranked in the top five in the nation, one of the better teams in the country. Uh, they averaged a little over 84 points per game, okay, obviously led by Cody Zeller, their all-world sophomore center, 17 points, 8 rebounds a game. Look for Indiana, though, to try to get their bench back on track. Their bench has struggled in the last three or four Big Ten games. Look for them to try to get, they should have ample opportunity to get their bench back on track in this game versus the Nittany Lions, a team they beat 74 to 51 just back on January 7th. So look for Indiana to try to get some guys going. They do average, they have, again, they score over 84 points a game at second in the nation. Uh, they do have five players who score in double figures for their team, including Sheehy, who comes off the bench, uh, the junior forward, who is uh, you know mainly a scorer and a good option off the bench. Uh, but even Sheehy has had trouble getting going here uh, in the last three or four games, as has their bench as a whole. And if this Indiana team wants to make a run, I think it'll you know deep into the into the NCAA tournament. I mean, you know, I think they're going to need more production from their bench throughout the rest of the Big Ten play and into the NCAA tournament. And this is a good game to sort of get people right, to maybe break out of some slumps, break out of some shooting slumps. And, you know, unfortunately, you know, Penn State's, for them and their fans, Penn State's one of these teams that you kind of use to gear up. And in Indiana's case, they have games with Michigan State and Michigan on the horizon that they're definitely looking forward to and will be big in determining uh, who will win the Big Ten as this season plays out here. Uh, I don't look for Indiana to look past Penn State. I think this Indiana team is a mature team that will take care of business here against Penn State. Uh, Indiana is a 27-point favorite at home against Penn State. Can't say that's not warranted. When you have one of the highest scoring teams in the nation playing against a team that can't score points and that turns the ball over, and then that team, better team, is at home, uh, I think that 27-point spread is warranted. However, I feel Penn State will be able to at least do a little bit and show some pride here in this game and keep it within 27 points. So while I like Indiana to win and Indiana to win comfortably, I like Penn State plus the 27 if we're talking from a uh, gambling perspective here as far as the predictions go. Uh, but obviously I like Indiana to win. I like Indiana to put themselves here at 5-1 and one in the Big Ten. Get some of their bench players right. And again, I think down the line, their point guard play with their freshman point guard, as well as their bench play, okay, with Sheehy and the likes getting back on track, will be the two biggest determining factors on how far this team goes in March. You'll have the constant in Zeller, uh, Oladipo, and all the other veterans around them, okay, the guys with experience. But how does that bench play? 
How does uh, Pharrell play at the point guard spot? How does that sort of uh, end up unfolding? But in this game, they should definitely win, take care of business. Um, but I like Penn State plus 27 here at Assembly Hall. Uh, be sure to check out my other college basketball previews. Uh, I usually post them daily here. Uh, usually between I preview one, between one and four games per day. So check them out. And if you subscribe to my page, you'll get all of my videos uh, delivered directly to you. Thanks, guys, and have a good night.